Smith & Wesson SWA 24S is a tactical folding knife designed for the rigors of EDC carry. Perfect for constant use. The 3.1 inch serrated 7CR17 high carbon stainless steel clip point blade excels at slicing through just about any material. The black aluminum handle has strategically placed jimping and finger cutouts for a secure grip. Open the blade by way of the ambidextrous thumb knobs and the index flipper. This is the Smith & Wesson SWA 24S Extreme Ops Liner Lock Folding Knife, a quality tool designed for your most demanding needs. The ZT0460 Ti, a Dmitry Sinkovich design. It measures 7.5 inches in overall length and weighs 2.9 ounces. It operates on KVT ball bearings with a flipper tab. The handle is titanium with a stonewashed finish and a black anodized aluminum backspacer. The 3.25 inch blade is made from ultra premium CPM 20 CV steel. The pocket clip is single position tip up carry. The blade is locked securely by a titanium frame lock with hardened steel lock bar insert. Slightly larger than its cousin, the 0450, the 0460 has a pronounced ergonomic curve to fit the hollow of your hand. Now, this knife is patterned after a Japanese style blade that was carried by samurai as their like ultimate backup concealed carry weapon. And it has a very long trailing edge that finishes up at a point that is right about in line with the top of the blade. So you have this real long graceful curve that you could use to cut whatever it is that you have to cut. But it gives you a lot of edge to introduce into whatever it is that uh, you want to slice. Uh, it has the wave feature on top, which is this little hook, and that catches on your pocket as you pull it out, uh, automatically opening the knife faster than any automatic or switch blade. Uh, it also has that thumb button on top, so you can open it with your thumb like a conventional knife. Uh, it's got a kind of a symmetric type of handle, very simple, very plain, uh, very clean lines with a very deep uh, cutout right here for safety. We call that the choil on a knife so that your fingers don't slide forward and come up onto the blade if you ever had to really jam it into uh, something hard. And uh, G10 handles with a clip mounted on the back so that you can carry it comfortably in your pocket. It's not an overly big knife. It's ground on both sides in a V grind. And it has that see-through Emerson signature uh, construction. And we have the standoffs, which you can see here in the back. Those have screws going in from the top and the bottom on both sides to give it a very strong, very rigid uh, construction. And so this handle is excellent in the hand. You can hold it in a conventional grip with your thumb riding up here on that uh, top of that wave. It's got some ridges called jimping that have been put in there. So you've got uh, tactical feeling on that or a tactile feeling. And uh, it's just a really good knife, an excellent utility knife. Uh, it's small enough to be in your pocket uh, and not cause uh, you to lean over to one side. And just a great knife. I, I really like it. I, you know I like very clean designs. Uh, you know I really like the Japanese style uh, blades. Uh, you can see all the tantos and everything I've made over the years. Uh, this one's got that long, long trailing point. It's, it's an excellent knife. You'll enjoy it. It's the Emerson Quiken. This is the Asada. If you think a cleaver only belongs in the kitchen, think again. We took the classic shape and amped it up for daily use, no matter where that takes you. The finger flipper deployment is seamless with Boss Tech. The ball bearing system delivers smooth, consistent opening every time. The Asada is an EDC folding knife that was designed with style in mind. It's got a cleaver style blade. The full plain edge and classic shape are perfect for utility tasks, big and small. The frame lock is easy to operate with a patented pinch plate. This keeps the user's fingers off the lock bar, ensuring positive deployment. We incorporated fresh trends, colors, and materials to induce some serious blade envy. It's available in two blade materials, 7CR stainless steel 
or D2. Handle material options include anodized aluminum or micarta. If you're looking to make a statement, look no further. If you're looking to make your friends jealous, we've got you covered there too. The Asada is the perfect daily carry if you're looking to take your pocket style up a few notches. The Epistle, Model 2131, a Kershaw Originals design. The Epistle measures 7 inches in overall length and only weighs 2.1 ounces. It opens manually with a thumb stud and features aluminum handle scales with a clear anodized finish. The Epistle also features a glass-filled nylon backspacer. The blade is made of 8CR13 MOV steel with a bead blasted finish. The pocket clip is a single position tip up carry. To keep the blade securely open, it utilizes an inset liner lock. The epistle features a custom asymmetrical pivot with machine texture. The 0022, a 10 galleon design. At 4.75 inches in overall length, the 0022 is ZT's smallest model in production. It operates on KVT ball bearings with a flipper tab. The 0022 features a carbon fiber front handle, stonewashed titanium back handle, and blue anodized titanium tube spacer. The 1.8 inch blade is made of ultra premium CPM 20 CV steel with a stonewashed finish. The pocket clip is a reversible tip up carry. To keep the blade securely open, it uses a titanium frame lock with hardened steel lock bar insert. The smallest knife in the ZT lineup is aptly named after one of the smallest firearm calibers, the 22. we We're showing you the M16 02D Damascus commemorative folding knife based on the original M16 design. Now this is a tribute knife to the late great Kit Carson who sadly passed away in 2014 and we're paying tribute to Kit's legacy with this limited edition CRKT.com exclusive. So we're only making 200 units of these total. Um, it is a gorgeous knife. It's got a plain edge blade and made with high quality Damasteel Damascus in a dense twist pattern. And it's finished with an acid etching and you can see here that each of the blades are numbered from 1 to 200 as this is a collectible commemorative piece. Uh, the knife features a frame lock which you can just simply push aside the frame lock to disengage a blade to close the knife. To open the knife, you can see that it flips easily with this Carson flipper, another feature that Kit Carson made famous in the industry. And the handles are made of super strong and light titanium. And it has a two position pocket clip you can see on this side. And then you can also adjust and place the pocket clip on this side if you'd like. The Spyderco Police model is one of the most iconic folding knives ever created. Now, this venerable design takes another quantum leap forward by combining the refined features of the fourth generation Police 4 with the advantages of lightweight injection molded handle construction. Its full flat ground VG10 stainless steel blade is housed within a molded fiberglass reinforced nylon handle featuring non-slip bi-directional texturing. Skeletonized stainless steel liners nested within the handle provide impressive structural strength and anchor the knife's sturdy backlock mechanism and its versatile four-position pocket clip. Today we're going to be talking about the 537 bailout. The strength to weight ratio is a huge consideration for us in this knife. It features grivery, which is a glass-filled nylon material with a high percentage of glass that gives it a strong structure. The CPM 3D blade uh, allows us to go very thin with the blade without compromising the edge. The mini deep carry clip allows us to reduce the amount of material that we're using. The striking pommel on the 537 is 6061 T6 aluminum. The shape is a tonneau. It allows it to be a very high grind geometry. We've selected every material to maximize strength to weight ratio.